One of my first orders from Troy Books uh, ended up being one of my favorites. Uh, Traditional Witchcraft is the book we're going to be looking at this morning. And um, honestly, it is still one of my favorites. This happens to be the Black Edition of Tradi Traditional Witchcraft by Jim McGarry. You can see the Troy Books logo at the bottom there. And, um, you know, the, the Black Edition wasn't much more than the regular at the time that I bought it. So I went ahead and got uh, this one. This is one of only two Black Editions that I have in my collection. But uh, it is very much a, a wonderful read. This, of course, was back from 2008. This is not a first edition, this is a later one, but this is 175 of 250. Now the book itself is probably average as far as the overall size and length to read, but the contents, as you can see, uh, very easily digestible sections with almost everything you could want to know about traditional craft. Uh, from more European traditions. There's a lot of illustrations, a lot of photographs as well. It almost starts out reading like any kind of other book you would read for, I guess, more traditional entertainment. But then, of course, it will kind of jump into more uh, historical and more useful information as you read through it. Starts out with an introduction into Cornwall's witch heritage. Talks about some of the spells, the methods that they would employ. Cornwall's Museum of Witchcraft and Magic. If I ever make it to that side of the pond, that is a place my wife and I will definitely want to go. If you are there and you've been, please comment below. I would love to hear your impressions. One thing I like about Troy Books is they always include these nice glossy photos, kind of bunched together so you can go back and look at them for reference. I understand not all books have or even need pictures, but to have, again, someone who lives in the United States, to have uh, beautiful images referencing the countryside and where this information is originating from is very beneficial to put your mind at a place where you can really envision uh, what's happening at this time. And there's the cover. And it also goes into some of the terms uh, from the country. And then one of the more intriguing parts, at least for me, was the tools of cutting. Talks about what is used, what's forged from the land, the knife that's used, the cup, the bowl, the cauldron, sweeping tools, drums, stones. And there's some examples. Threshing fork, basil talking stick, or hazel talking stick. And just some other uh, very real tools. Blackthorn horsehair spirit whip. Some outdoor ritual tools and some knives in the Witchcraft Museum. Sweeping tools. There's a picture of uh, Jim McGarry.
which is compass, the use of circles and other tools in traditional craft, but also, of course, the circle is a powerful tool in almost all aspects of magic. You can see a witching bottle there. Gets into a little bit of alchemy. Astrology, moon phases, solar alignments, planners, planets. Um, again, just, just so much information is presented in this book. And you see there's even more photos. There is Mandrake in a coffin. Uh, Troy Books, and I can't remember who else. They actually partnered and released a Mandrake uh, end of a coffin like that and listed it on eBay a few months ago. So they do a lot of very unique things um, to keep an eye out for. I definitely recommend following Troy Books if you haven't already. Uh, it's not for everyone. Some of this stuff is rather specialized, but I, I greatly enjoy it. Um, I've got some more books from Troy that I'm going to be giving an overview of in the coming weeks. And um, yeah, if you have anything else that you want to add below in the comments or any questions, please feel free to leave them. And as always, thanks for watching.